Joe Biden will not be making the visit to Australia, nor will he be visiting Papua New Guinea. Uh, we have been confirmed by the White House that he will be leaving the United States tomorrow to head to the G7, which has been in, held in Hiroshima in, Tokyo, in uh, Japan. Uh, and it has been pointed out by the White House uh, national security spokesperson that on the sidelines of the G7, he will be meeting with Prime Minister Albanese as well as the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. Uh, but when it was asked of John Kirby, the national security spokesman uh, for the White House, whether that meant that the president would not be making the journey south to Papua New Guinea and then to Australia for the Quad meeting that was due to be held in Sydney, uh, he said that they are re-evaluating that trip. Now, this is all because of domestic political concerns here in the United States. We've just had the wrapping up of a meeting with the US president meeting with congressional leaders. This is about the debate over raising the debt ceiling here in the United States. At the moment, the Republicans are playing hardball, saying they're not going to pass the budget. They're effectively not going to give the OK for government spending here in the United States, which has many economists, uh, investors concerned about what that would mean if the United States did actually default on its debts. Uh, the president is having last minute discussions with them but given that he's due to fly out tomorrow and given that the united states could the united states government could run out of money to spend by the end of this month uh, basically they've made the decision that his time is better spent in the united states than it would be spent in australia now this does leave open the question about who will be representing the united states uh, at the quad meeting uh, and obviously throws the plans that the australian government had into disarray there are some rumours that perhaps it could be the Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, but that's, none of that has been confirmed at this point. Uh, but obviously a huge blow to Anthony Albanese, who was excited about the opportunity of hosting the most important, most powerful man in the world. That now long, no longer will occur. Um, but hopefully it means that the other leaders of the Quad will be making that journey down. But we wait to see who will be filling that seat uh, from the American perspective. Carrington, thank you. We'll stay across uh, what is a pretty significant breaking story this morning, mm. Lisa. Uh, su such is the planning that I noticed uh, military planes were depositing Marine One or one of the Marine One shoppers at Sydney Airport yesterday ahead of the President's visit. Yes, the quad will still go, still go ahead, whether it's the Vice President Kamala Harris or another US official. But this is a blow because the quad is a pretty serious strategic uh, move by the US, Australia, India and Japan uh, set up in recent years or revived in recent years over concerns about what China's up to and the fact that the US Vice President won't be here as part of that is a big blow to uh, our strategic outlook. It changes the tone of it when mm. you've got a Vice President, no matter how good they might be or what the thoughts are. Well, if it are, is the Vice President. It changes it, yeah. if it is the Vice President.